Hello and welcome to Math in 5 Minutes or Less by Mrs. Grage. Today we are looking at Lesson 75 in our textbooks and we are looking at how to convert a fraction to a decimal or to a percent. And my recommendation to you is think money. For example, in America you have a half dollar. A half dollar is 0 0.5 as a decimal and it's 50% as a percentage. We also have a quarter in America. One quarter is 0 0.25 or 25%. Two quarters, which is the same as a half, 0 0.5, 50%. Three quarters, 0 0.75 or 75%. We also have in America a dime. A dime is counting by tens to 100. So one tenth is 0 0.1 as a decimal, 10%. Two tenths would be 0 0.2, 20%. Three tenths, 0 0.3, 30%, and so on. Now you're going to wish you lived in Scotland because we have a 20 pence. 20 pence, that means there's five 20 pences that equal 100. So if you have one fifth, you have 0 0.2, which is 20%. Two fifths, 0 0.4, 40 percent. Three fifths, 0 0.6, 60 percent and four-fifths, 0.880%. And then the one I need you to memorize because it's always going to appear on a test is one-third, two-thirds, three-thirds. 33.3, 66.6, 99.9, or as a decimal, it would be 0 0.33, 0 0.66, 0 0.99, so now we've thought money, we've got the basic ones away. We're going to take a fraction, convert it to a decimal, and then to a percent. How do we do that? We take a fraction two-fifths. We put two in the dividend. Five is your divisor. And then we divide. We get 0 0.4. Then we multiply by 100, boop, boop, and we get 40%. Come with me to the whiteboard. Remember, percent, per means divide, cent means 100. In a fraction, you have a numerator and a denominator. In this example, we have 5 over 8. Let's take that and make it a decimal. So we put 5 inside the house, the dividend, divide by 8. Does 8 divide into 5? No. 0 holds the place. Put in a decimal, add a 0. Does 8 divide into 50? How many times? Well, we know that 6 times 8 is 48. Good. Now we can subtract, which gives us 2, add a 0, and bring down. Does 8 divide into 20? Yes, it sure does. It goes twice. 2 times 8, 16. Subtract, 4, add another 0, bring it on down. Does 8 divide into 40? Yes, it does. Five. And then five-eighths are 40. Knock it off at the end is a zero. So if you notice, the decimal then is 0 0.625. Take that decimal and change it to a percent. Remember, percent, there's two zeros. Therefore, you move the decimal two times. One, two. And the percent is 62.5%. So hopefully this made sense to you. Uh, buzz me if something is difficult on the homework and let me know how I can help you and have a great day.